Hello everyone, welcome back to Lunatics, an online platform to learn technology. So you are watching this video just because you want to learn how to configure data stacks in Drupal Edition on single node as well as on multiple node. So let's start for that. Before jumping to the installation, let me tell you that if you don't watch my videos on how to install Apache Cassandra on multiple nodes, single data cluster, then please go back to the description and uh, check the link and watch that also in the description i put the link in my of my videos by which you can able to learn how to install virtualbox mobile Xterm, centos 7 and what configuration we need for this installation so even in this video i use the same method so if you have any confusion please go back and watch that video first and after that please watch this otherwise maybe you will confuse if you are not so much familiar with networks, Linux, SSH clients and all this. So in today's lesson, I am going to use three nodes in the DC configuration and also I configured all three nodes with mobile extern tool. So here I am hoping that you already uh, watched my previous video. So let me show you first. So this is my virtual box and uh, I have three server and three server is running right now completely. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to double click on mobile extern and going to start that. Here in, uh, in session, I already created one session in which I, I put all the three node, uh, means all the three servers here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just right click on this folder and going to click and skip all session from this folder. Fine, so uh, as you can able to see that my all three nodes is working fine, very fine. So we just click on multiple execute and fine. So three windows. Fine. So before installation, uh, like uh, let me check that what is the Java version. So command is Java minus version. Press enter so you are able to see that I am using Java version uh, 1.8 in. in uh, all three nodes, so that's fine. That is the configuration of the person at some point. After that, what we have to do, we have to uh, add data stacks uh, in repository file. So, for that, this is slash then dot post dot b and add a file name as data stacks dot. You have to create one uh, cadence, reject cadence on, on data stack website, otherwise, you can use it. Why I am giving percentage 40? Just because if you are having in your email ID and your password, if you have percentage sign, I'm oh, sorry, at the rate of sign, then you have at the place of at the rate of sign, you have to give percentage 40. Okay. So, at the same time, I am making changes on all the three nodes. So, place a scale. Save it. After this, text use yum install DBS support. Press enter. So, uh, why I am doing so, uh, this will become an issue to understand that exactly how to learn it. And so, uh, so here just give option y press enter it will take some time to download that. so finally we are able to see here that uh, my installation is completed finally successfully so let me tell you this so before going to change anything into the any file let me show you first that to my after installation is the service of dsc will it start automatically or not so for that service Okay, so you can able to see that uh, on server 1 it is showing that uh, DS is not running, in server 2 it is showing DS is running, and uh, on server 3 it is showing DS is running. So, what we could do? First, uh, do anything. Just stop. Okay, so by using service DSC stop, it will automatically stop all the uh, service which you are running on, on the particular server. Okay. So uh, after the stopping, let me check on status. 
So uh, currently, uh, DSC is not running on any of the services. That's fine. So just clear this. Screen. What we have to do? We have to uh, start to do configuration in each and every uh, condition, okay? And each and every server. So the only one thing I have to go and configure here that is the cassandra.yaml file. Okay, so let's go to etc cross dsc slash cassandra slash cassandra right enter the first thing what i will change here the first thing i am going to change here is the cluster name so press i am going to write here number cluster second thing what i am going to change here i am going to change here the listen address okay so here listen address so if you check here that listen address is local host in each and every condition so what i'm going to do i'm just going to comment down listen address and going to enable my uh, listen interface eth0 okay why i'm going to uh, enable eth0 just because i already configured eth0 into my network script file with uh, all the ATS0 is connected to the particular uh, static IP address which is like 172.116.5.221.222 and 223 okay after that I am going to search various my IP address okay. so just press and okay again like that here our PC address is local host so I am just again going to turn it down okay Going to NFPS RPC interface. RPC interface here, so I'm going to uh, route it to ETH0. Okay. After this, I will change one more thing that is my IP provider. Okay. So here we are able to see the IP provider is 127.0.01, which is the like local host. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change into 172. Here it is three node cluster, so I'm just giving my first node uh, address into that, and I will start into the order. First, I will start my first node. After that, I will start my second node, and after that, I will start my third node. Okay. Escape. So nothing else I'm going to change here. So just close into that. Okay. Now I'm just going to exit from my matrix mode. So fine. Here. From here onward. If any error will come, I will rectify that error. If no error will come, then it will be go very smooth. Okay. So what we have to do after changing anything in cassandra.yaml file or any file, after that we have to restart our service. So here it is showing that demon is restarting. Okay. Before going to do anything, I'm going to check my blog file that what is the condition here. So, log file should be into the word slash log slash output slash output log press. And here you are able to see here that no any error message is coming here. That's fine. So, after that, I'm going to log to And here you are able to see here my first node tool is showing that uh, this is the IP address of the first node. It is U and means up and normal. It is working very fine. I am going to on my second node again. I am going to start. Press enter. Okay. I am going to check here. Works less. And here, if you check here, that again, no any error thing is showing that. Okay. Again, just clear my screen. Okay. And on to the first one, I am going to check not the status. And you can able to see my second node is sorry, my second node is also active here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to check on to the red node. So I already configured here, so start. Right. 
Okay. Just I'm going to click on the page that is present. So right now it is not showing. This means it is so before. Why not we can go and check? Okay, so it is now up above. Everything is working very fine. Now we are going to check here again once again. And this time it is doing that. It is completely working very fine. So uh, you can able to see that how is it easy and what is the minimal uh, configuration we require for starting any uh, multi center in data stack enterprises. Now I'm going to do this. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to check on all the three modes at the same time. So, stack is at the same time. And you are able to see here that all the three nodes are responding very well. Even uh, like that, load is so load is balancing completely, so no need to worry about that. Okay, loading balance is very, very neatly in So just here is screen. Now, how to just get a set of get a set with one particular IP address we have to give off in this particular mode. So I'm just going to give my first mode a center. And here you are able to see that everything works very well. So let's do the minimum condition to install industrial uh, enterprises on multiple nodes. Uh, in single DC. If you are getting any issue, please comment down in the video.